Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create foreign key constraint with on update cascade in SQL Server. So in a previous video, I showed you guys where we have a primary key and foreign key relationship and we needed to update some record in a primary key or foreign key uh, tables and we were getting some uh, errors and we we went into different scenarios how to solve those issues when we are making updates uh, in uh, either primary key table or a foreign key table now here we are going to discuss uh, the option on update cascade so let me open the ssms uh, and i have two tables uh, dbo customer and i'm creating uh, with the customer id as primary so you can see that primary id now uh, sorry primary key and then uh, we are creating the dbo orders table uh, and uh, we have customer underscore id this is integer type and it is referencing uh, so we are creating a foreign key and it is referencing uh, to the customer table uh, right here and then uh, it is using the customer column from dbo customer table the only part we have here we know uh, we are adding uh, is on update cascade so i'm going to demonstrate this part like how exactly this part work so let's go ahead and uh, create these two tables uh, and now I'm inserting uh, two records in each of the table. Uh, so you see that in DBO customer table, I'm inserting customer ID one and customer ID two, but there are other column, first name, last name and social as well. Uh, so, but this is the column which is uh, involved uh, in primary key, foreign key relationship. Uh, so we know that uh, on this column, uh, we have primary key and uh, this is customer ID. You can see right here and I'm going to insert two records. Uh, all good we are going to insert two records uh, in dbo orders table uh, and we know that customer underscore id is involved uh, in the primary key and foreign key relationship uh, and this is the column on which uh, we have created the foreign key constraint uh, so go ahead and insert the values and we know that we we are inserting uh, value one and value two those values already does exist uh, in our primary key uh, column in dbo customer so we shouldn't have any issue execute all values are inserted successfully let's take a look now you see that uh, we have uh, id1 and id2 and uh, this is the primary key uh, column and uh, this is the table called dbo customer this is our foreign key um, column uh, customer underscore id and this is in uh, dbo orders table uh, and they are in a relationship uh, now with on cascade uh, sorry on update cascade if i will make any change to the primary key column let's say i want to update here from 1 to 100 what will happen this value will be updated automatically so this is really great we we have this advantage we don't have to worry about making an update in two tables we can always make update to our primary key column uh, in the uh, when we have uh, this primary key and foreign key relationship uh, and uh, this will be uh, cascaded to the foreign key column uh. so now let's say if i'm saying update dbo customer and i say set customer id is equal to 100 and where uh, customer id is one so i'm making update to this value from one to 100 so let's go ahead and run it and the one row affected that's great now we can take a look on the data so you see that uh, we made the uh, update here in the dbo customer and uh, this is uh, also cascaded uh, to the dbo orders uh, as we have on update cascade uh, when we created the foreign key constraint so once sometime we uh, we want to understand that part okay so if we will make uh, the chain update in the primary key column uh, which is uh, uh, in relationship with the foreign key constraint uh, then yes the value will be updated to the foreign key uh, table so which in this case uh, we have a dbo orders on which uh, we have a column where we created a foreign key constraint uh, so you make a change to dbo customer it will uh, float or it will cascade to the dbo orders but in case uh, if you will try to make update to your foreign key constraint table uh, that's our dbo customer and if i will make a change to let's say 101 now it is not going to work so you see that the update statement conflicted with the foreign key constraint so you see that uh, this is not going to work when you will make the update to the foreign key column uh, uh, that, that's the part of your foreign key constraint and uh, but if you will update the value 
in a table where you have primary key and that will be cascaded to the foreign key column that's in our case it's a db orders so i hope you learn some good stuff from here you understand okay primary key column if you will make a change uh, and in this case we are talking about the update that will be cascaded to foreign key table and especially in this case we have customer id column this value will be updated if you update this value it will be updated here but uh, if you will try to update uh, this value here it will not uh, go directly to here let's say if i i, I have two here and uh, if i'm going to go ahead and say two uh, i want to say one uh, 100 let's say if i will where customer id is equal to two now this will update but you will see this uh, that this value will not update so as we are updating to 100 it's going to be just fine and uh, as we have 100 here so it will start referencing this record and uh, uh, but it will if you will uh, do 100 here it doesn't mean that it's going to make this to id 100 so let's do this one one row affected now you will see the two stay as it is in the primary key column value but uh, this can be updated uh, if, uh, if there is a record uh, does exist in the primary key so but if you will make a change here let's say if i want to go one or two and where customer id two so this can as there is no referencing to, uh, data here that's uh, that's not going to make any difference uh, but uh, if case uh, there is a data here let's say this one is 100 they both are 100 if you will uh, make update uh, let's say 103 where is 100 now this will get updated and these will get updated as well so let's run this one and you see the records now you see that uh, we updated to 103 in the primary key table and uh, they were also we see that the cascaded uh, updated happen in the foreign key constraint table uh, and the customer ID underscore id is updated so you understand uh, this uh, very well and thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video